All right, welcome to Everyday I Race. Today we're going to talk about rods, connecting rod that that is. So I uh, I've heard a lot about these uh, max speeding rods. So I decided to get some to see what they were all about. So they got here a couple of days ago. Got a nice box, a nice package. Uh, even though I don't really care for packaging that much, but it's a nice touch. So let's open it up and see what we got here. Okay, at first, there's a uh, paper in here and it tells you uh, torque specs for the ARP bolts so which is very nice uh, these supposedly have ARP 2000 uh, rod bolts which are very very good so next there's some kind of customer service card let's open it up Some papers. Uh, give us some positive feedback. Well, I'm gonna have to see how they perform. I guess I'll put those away. I'll save that. Okay, next there's some styrofoam. And I already opened uh, one of them up. Otherwise, they come in a bag. Uh, each one packaged in a baggie like that. Uh, there's a oily piece of paper inside. Let's see, make sure. There we go. And that's what they would look like. So, nice package. Nothing bad to say. I'm gonna put this one back. I'm gonna put all this junk back in the bag now let's put this right here so here's the rod it's a uh, H-beam rod looks like it's a uh, pretty good quality actually it has ARP 2000 bolts. Let's take them out. This is this is what they look like, basically ARP bolt. This is a stock connecting rod that came out of my bike. Uh, this one, as you can see, there is a huge difference between the H beam rod and the stock one. It's stock one's kind of flimsy, skinny, you know, it's a stock rod. This one's uh this one's uh much nicer looking. So and the stock rods come with the uh, regular nuts. And they have pressed in bolts. So nothing fancy, but not too bad. They're good for probably 250 horsepower or so, depending on the RPM, how far you're willing to rev the engine. These work pretty decent. So first thing I see besides, besides the, uh, uh, ARP bolts there's another difference in the rod which is kind of nice it has uh, a bushing on the small end of a rod unlike the stock one stock one doesn't have anything this one's had this one's got a bushing which is very very nice 
you can see a oil hole lubrication hole in there uh, so uh, it looks much nicer quality than actually a stock connecting rod so next uh, let's weigh them and see exactly what the difference is There I've got a scale. Let's turn the sucker on. It's in grams. So first I'm gonna weigh a uh, stock. This is a 2004 to 2010 connecting rod. Uh, there's a there's a difference in like 2006 I believe. Uh, but they should be about the same style, about the same size. So this one's like a 2006. So I've got the nuts, I've got the bolts, I've got the both caps, and let's see how much it weighs. So it looks like uh, 312 grams for stock rod. Now, let's weigh max speeding rod. So this one looks like uh, 368 grams, which is, uh, it's, it's a bit heavier, but you know, it's a, it's a lot stronger, so. Uh, not too bad so and that's uh, that's pretty much it uh, no more feedback on these rods until I put them in the engine and uh, I'll see uh, how much power they can take for some for some odd reason I think these should be able to handle quite a bit of power probably more power than my engine than my turbocharger can support right now so uh, but it's a lot nicer to have these they're a lot uh, a lot more affordable uh, and it's a pretty good safety I'm still gonna take them to a machine shop and they're gonna check make sure the the hole is perfectly round uh, because I've heard some people said that some of them are out of round you, you really want to have a round rod Otherwise, uh, when it goes around the crankshaft, it's going to burn up the, uh, it's going to have more pressure or less uh, less clearance uh, in some of the spots between the bearing and the crankshaft, and uh, you're going to have a lot of problems. So, and uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you later.